Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar on getting started with Formstack Sign. My name is Ryan Jorgensen and I am a customer success enablement manager here at Formstack. And whether you're new to Formstack or you're an existing customer looking for a refresher on Formstack Sign, this is going to be a great webinar for that. For our agenda today, we have a demo where we're gonna be going over navigating and best practices for our signed product, as well as adding your first template, uh, best practices on setting up your template for signature and other features to help simplify your e-signature needs. If at any point during our webinar, you have a question concerning the content that we're gonna be going over today, or just in general about Formstack Sign, we do have a live moderator who will be monitoring the chat and should be able to help with answering any of your questions. If for some reason we're unable to get to your question, we will go over some great resources for you at the end to help with learning our products. And if you do have a specific question regarding your account, we would highly recommend for you to get in contact with your account manager or customer success manager if you do qualify for one. Let's go ahead and jump into our Formstack Sign demo. For today's example, we're going to be using a document that we already have for a new hire that is being routed for signature over to that new hire. Um, but we're also going to show you how you could add additional participants if needed, such as a CEO or a member of your HR team. At the top here, we can see our homepage where you can set up your documents to be sent out for delivery, but you can also see a summary of all of the documents on your account that have either been signed or are out for signature. And at the very bottom of our homepage, we also have a walkthrough of how our signed product works from uploading the document to adding participants and setting up action. Moving back to the top, we can see another tab over here to the right for our documents page where you can review all of those documents that you previously set up, um, but we'll be taking a look at this page later on. The first step to send out a document for signature is to upload a file or drag and drop the document that you would like to send out. Our Formstack Sign product supports many formats including Word, PDF, and JPEG. Uh, for this example, we have a document that's based on a new hire template. We're gonna go ahead and upload this document and then hit next and just give it a moment. The first step is gonna be configuring your signers or participants. If you hit add participants, you will be able to enter the signer's name email, and you can even enter a phone number if you want the doc document to be texted out as well. I'm going to go ahead and finish setting up our first participant. Uh, but you can see here, once your first participant is set up, you can also add multiple signers or participants if you'd like, just by selecting the add participants button. This would be a great option if you had an offer letter where you want the first signer to be your new employee, and if you wanted the second to be someone who would be reviewing the document, like a member of your HR team or the CEO. Now, alternatively, you can also add yourself as a signer by selecting you need to, to sign uh, this button right here, and then it would automatically take the information from your user. If you do have multiple participants, it is worth mentioning, mentioning that we currently only support sequence signing and this document would be sent out in the order of who we've assigned from first to last. Now it's also worth mentioning this other feature here called advanced setting. Uh, you have the option to convert this document into a reusable form. This is a great option if you planned on using this document with any signer once converted to a form, a URL for a form will be generated and you can share that via email or on your website. For our example, we want to continue with specific participants 
and can go ahead and click on next here on the right. On this next screen, you will be able to drag and drop the different field options onto the document. You will see all the different options on the left, like full name, signature, date, initials, text, checkbox, and radio fields. For this example, I'm going to add a signature field at the bottom, uh, a full name field, as well as a date field, and then we can use a text field for the address. Now that we have our field set up on the document, we can go ahead and click next to continue. The final step before sending the document out is to name it and type in the message that you would want the signer to see when they receive the email. Uh, you can customize that message or just keep the default message, totally up to you. Uh, there are also a few different options on this step including adding a password to protect the document, uh, or you can also set up reminders for the signers, as you can see here. Once you've filled out the name and message, you can go ahead and hit send to get the process started. So now that our document has been sent out to the first signer, let's take a look at how the signer would see this information. Now, like we mentioned, the participant would usually receive an email and then they can click the link to the email in order to open up the document and fill in the necessary information. But alternatively, you can also get the link for this step or send out a reminder by navigating to the documents page that we mentioned before and then clicking on the action drop down button beside the document that you're working with, just like you can see here. And then you can click on the remind option and you could either resend that email if needed uh, or you can actually go to the right and you can copy the link for this step. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the link and bring up the document and then I will complete the necessary fields. Now that the document signing process has been completed, Let's take a look at where we can track and make changes to these documents. So if we do navigate back over to the documents tab where we just were, you will see this is where a list of all of your documents that have been sent up for signature will live. You can see the status of each document and who it was sent to. Uh, if you head to the action column, just like we did before and click on the drop down arrow for an option where the document was already signed, you will see the option to download, archive, or get more information on that document. So this is a great option if you needed to download the signed version. Now, if the document is still out for signature, like in our previous example, you will see some different options to remind or recall the document if needed. That's it for our demo on Formstack Sign. We showed you how to create an automated process for your document to be sent out for signature. But if you ever have any questions or concerns, please remember that you can always click on this eye icon on the top right to get in touch with our support team or search for any useful articles on our site. For instance, let's say you wanted more information about using reusable forms, that feature that we had talked about earlier you can do a search on our help site and follow the instructions from our article to get set up. Now looking over our resources, we have our help center that we mentioned earlier, but we also have our certification program that is currently free. It's a great tool for learning more about not just Formstack Sign, but also if you were interested in exploring our other product offerings like Formstack Documents or Formstack Forms. Uh, thank you so much for attending. Have a great day.